even though the Colts are out of the playoff picture, they didn't just phone it in today against the Dolphins. Indy scored first. Jeff George hit Immokalee's Albert Bentley for a 15-yard scoring play, 7-0 Colts. Dan Marino brought the Finns right back four plays later when he play faked and found a wide open Sammy Smith for a 53-yard touchdown. The former FSU star also ran for 108 yards. This one-yard dive made it 14-7 in the second, but it was the touchdown Smith didn't score that was the key play of the first half. Fourth down from the one, you make the call. Did Smith get in or not? Even with instant replay, the officials said no. They were the only ones. I thought the ball was over. I mean, when I was over, I could see the end, end zone line underneath me. So I thought it was a touchdown. Oh, I thought I thought he was in, but I'm standing from behind him, so it's it's tough for me to call, you know. But uh, that's a judgment call. We we should have scored anyway on a couple plays earlier. Still, Miami led 16-14 at the half, and the Dolphin defense made the big play by George. First play of the fourth quarter, Jeff Cross stripped the ball from the Colt quarterback, and Brian Soche picked it up and took it in for the touchdown. I came around the outside and I saw Lander, and I ran. I, as I grabbed the football, I looked up and I saw the end zone. I took off running, and um, nobody caught me. <laughs> And down 23-14, the Colts weren't going to catch the Dolphins. George led him to a late field goal, but couldn't get him into the end zone. The final, Dolphins 23, Colts 17. That's the life of the NFL, what happened today. You know, some days it's going to go your way, and some days it's not. Yep, but, you know, that's all in football. You know, someone has to win and someone has to lose. For the first time in five years, the Dolphins can walk off the field after their 16th game of the year and know they're going to play at least one more time. They'll be in the playoffs next weekend. I'm proud of this team for uh, the turnaround, uh, the things that we've accomplished. We've still got a long way to go, but the, the important thing right now is we've got the opportunity to do it. And uh, in the last four years, we haven't had that opportunity. And they'll try to make the most of that opportunity at home next weekend. In Miami, Ken Tomash, Wink Sports Tonight.